Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back. Big shout out to everybody that clicked on this video. And today, we're going to be talking about the young bull. When Colin Sexton was in high school, he was easily the most entertaining player to watch. I mean, he was just dominating everybody that he went up against. His play style and intensity was just beyond the high school level. And he put that on display every night. He played with so much energy to the point that people thought that he was crazy. But nah bro, he was just passionate. You gotta know the difference. But anyways, all of this was happening years ago. As you probably already know by now, Colin Sexton is in the NBA. And a lot of people, including myself, really have high hopes for Colin Sexton. We really want to see him become one of the best players in the league. Because he is a very hard worker. And that's something that can't be taught. But I don't know if you guys remember, in the beginning of his rookie season, one of his veteran teammates told the media that he doesn't know how to play, allegedly. I would have never thought I'd see the day when they say a player like the young bull doesn't know how to play the game of basketball. That's just blasphemous, bro. But it did come from a veteran player, so it's possible that he has a good point. In this video, we are going to be talking about what happened to Colin Sexton's career. So enough of all that talking, let's get right into it. I know a lot of basketball fans really look up to these players. And if you guys hoop in real life, you probably want to be like them. I get so many comments of kids doubting themselves sometimes. It be getting out of hand. If you want to be good at something, you got to work on it. It's that simple. Let's use the young bull, for example. People look at him and just assume that he has always been great. But that's not the case for him or anybody that's great. Colin Sexton said that he started playing basketball when he was three years old. Now correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I don't know of any three-year-old youth leagues. So you know what that means. He most likely played against older competition, and it's safe to assume that my mans was getting dropped off. There's no way around it. Majority people who lose a lot against their competition end up losing their confidence, and that's understandable. I feel like every great player had a time in their life where they didn't have confidence in their game. But the difference between regular people and great players like Colin Sexton is that they didn't let them losses keep him down. He kept working on his skill, and that was the birth of the young bull. By the time he was in high school, it was just too easy. He played for Pebble Brook High School in Georgia. If anybody went to the school and saw him live, let me know down in the comments. I thought that he was at least 6 foot 3 before I made this video, but he's actually listed at 6 foot 1. I guess it's just the hair. And plus, he could jump out of the gym, so I just assumed that he was taller than he actually is. Colin Sexton was a 5 star recruit, and by far one of the best point guards in his class. And he has proven that especially during them heated 1v1s against Jalen Hands. That matchup is a classic for real. Jalen Hands was an elite point guard on the high school level, but the young bull outplayed him. It was kind of embarrassing, but it happens. If y'all never seen the video, go tune in ASAP. But basically, he accomplished everything you could think of on the high school level. He was a top 10 recruit, a McDonald's All-American, and he had every college coach trying to recruit him. He lived every high school hooper's dream. Moving on to his college days, he really stepped up his game to a whole nother level. He decided that the best fit for him would be in Alabama. There were some fans saying that he should have went to a bigger school, but at the end of the day, he knew what was best for him. He came in as a freshman putting up 20 points a game. And during the March Madness tournament, he boosted his numbers up to 26 a game. He came to play when it mattered the most. And I know y'all remember that game when he played 3 versus 5. It was literally the worst case scenario. Majority of his teammates got disqualified for fighting. And another star teammate went down with an ankle injury. So with one half remaining, Colin Sexton had to make something happen with only two other teammates. And he did an unbelievable job. He put up 40 points and almost brought home the W. But it was too good to be true. After this performance, he had everyone noticing him, so it was obvious that he was going to be a one-and-done player. During the 2018 NBA Draft, he was selected 8th overall to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now this was a very interesting time, because no one was sure if LeBron was going to stay in Cleveland. After that stressful finals against the Warriors, he was just losing hope of winning in Cleveland. Even Kyler Sexton himself tried to get LeBron to stay. 
Listen to what he had to say. Make your pitch to LeBron James to stay in Cleveland with you. Man, LeBron, let's do it. Let's do it. I see you need a few pieces, that one extra piece this past season. Hey, let's do it. Uh, let's go back to the finals. Let's do it. All right, LeBron, the young bull has called you out. He wants you to stay with him in Cleveland. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. As we all know by now, LeBron got up out of there. But this was a bold statement made by a rookie who hasn't even touched an NBA court yet. But that just shows how much heart this guy has. If LeBron would have stayed in Cleveland, then Colin Sexton would have been thrown into the fire for real. And he seems like a person that enjoys staying under pressure. But that playing on LeBron's team pressure is a whole different ball game. I guess we'll never know for sure if he was built for that. Let me know if y'all think he could have handled that down in the comments. But anyways, as it was expected, the team fell apart when LeBron left. They lost the best player in the world, the second best player Kevin Love was injured, their head coach got fired, the whole organization was just going through tough times. This easily dropped them down to a weaker team in the league. And this was the perfect opportunity for Colin Sexton to prove himself. But that wasn't the case at first. He wasn't playing up to his expectations. They said that he had the worst box plus minus in NBA history. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I have never knew what that means, but I'm guessing it's not good. Somebody explain it to me down below. Also, some of his teammates felt that he had a bad shot selection. They were just irritated with this game. But if we are being for real, I think his teammates were just used to playing with LeBron. They were so used to playing with greatness that they forgot that Colin Sexton was just a rookie that had a lot to learn. There's not a lot of rookies that come into the league dominating. But ever since he was called out by his teammates, he has stepped up his game big time. And he has been averaging over 20 points a game. And he's only going to get better with time, I'm telling you. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you wasn't feeling it, then go ahead and leave a dislike then. But let me know why down in the comments. And also, comment down below if you have any video suggestions. Whatever comment get the most likes, I'm gonna make that video happen for y'all. I got you. And last, I'm giving a shout out to the first five followers on Instagram. So hurry up. Peace.